I said it would be short, and I wasn't going to lie, so let's do this. Hmm, we got a much longer bench all of a sudden. Why is she looking towards Eugene like that? Is she like fangirling over him? I like that dick he just made there. We wouldn't want any more perjury here, would we? I'm not gonna lie, Maria Gori is really cool. I like her energy, even though it's incredibly creepy. What weird energy that is. What weird energy. <laughs> it's like, oh, Mama never got to be able to see the in innards of his body. It's like, what weird energy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I never want to see the innards of anybody. I'm good. My sister used to watch surgery on television all the time. I had to leave the living room. She's got quite the aesthetic. Like, she has a really cool aesthetic. She's like a creepy Emma. That's the way to describe her. A really creepy Emma. If she started eating snackoos or whatever the 1900 equivalent would be, I would totally buy into that personality.
Yeah, I like her character design quite a bit. Like, if she wasn't so obscure, it'd be like, oh, it'd be fun to dress as her. Maybe in a future game, like when they make Great Ace Attorney 3. I'm making you all a promise today that whenever they announce a release date for another Ace Attorney game, I will take the day that it's released and the subsequent week following off, and I will stream it every day. That is my promise. <clears throat> so whenever the next Ace Attorney game is released, and I kind of hope it's a continuation of Great Ace Attorney, you will see it stream it, see me stream it on day one. I love how <clears throat> Strongheart is very cornered here. So am I now allowed to press? I'm going to make a quick save here. I don't trust what was just said. I don't like that statement. That statement makes me incredibly uncomfortable. I don't think I'm allowed to press unless I feel like I can. Oh, 
God, she has such weird energy. <laughs> she goes silent. Strongheart's really not happy. Nothing is going his way. Swallow a ring like this without, like, subjecting yourself to a lot of pain. Yeah, see, Runo's thinking the exact same shit that I am. Already did. Fuck's sake. How do you swallow this ring? Objection. 
Yeah, because it said there was no internal bleeding or hemorrhaging or whatever, right? So he was duped by his, um, by his superior. Hey, it's the first time we've had a conversation with Wilson displayed in this game. Playing the vastly more experienced than you card. Not at all suspicious. That sound has to be glass. Is there an instrument that sounds like uh, glass cylinders being tapped? Maria's growing up. I have to admire, admire Maria here. Uh, he's, is he going to crush this or drink it? He's going to crush it. Yeah, I wouldn't want to make Maria upset with me. I think Maria is somebody I want as an ally. <laughs> I feel like she, she would be like a friend I'd want to have. I don't want to have her upset with me. Like, I'm not going to lie. I probably would want to have a friend like her if I could. Like, it'd be a fucked up relationship, but like, it would be always like, you bring weird energy and I'm here for it. Honestly, she's cool. I want more of her.
protection. Objection! We're really trying to get Kazuma to, uh, to, like, see the forest from the trees, and so far he's only seeing a tree. <clears throat> He's lucky to be able to see the tree to begin with. There is there is a tree emoji, I'm pretty certain. Oh, there we go, Christmas tree. Objection! That was a new sound, too. Objection. We do know that he wasn't mute. <laughs> he was very capable of speaking. Thank you. 
that? I was thinking that this might be the key. We're going back to Vigil all of a sudden. We were told that they were waiting out in the... In the um... Were we told? What were we told? Like, Kaiden, Kaiden said something... I can't remember anymore. This is just such a good ending. This is, I think this is where, like, the whole bunny thing comes back into play, doesn't it? Yeah, there's like a whole group of people out there, they just want to go and like, you know what, we're gonna go and sink Strongheart, we're tired of his bullshit. just bringing everyone back in. <laughs> thanks, 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 Vigil.
Kaden looks like he's just... He's had enough. It's just that this time there's no guillotine for him to have behind him that's all threatening. Yeah, don't threaten the witnesses. That's generally not a good idea. Oh, we're slowly turning the screws on him. That's the thing. Hey, Allegro. Illinois Crow. We're at the we're we're inching towards the truth, everybody. I really love the subtle triangles in this song. It's so good. we can say that Strongheart does not use slurs. And that says a lot about him.
God, he speaks with such a thick accent. Yeah, it's rather interesting how he was docile. That's an interesting date there. Majesty's Great British Empire. All that stolen indigenous land.
Really, there's a wee matter that doesn't make sense to you. He said that was his last weapon or whatever. He had his only weapon left. I remember that um, statement pretty well. Stop threatening the witness. Or assaulting the witness. <clears throat> That's definitely an assault on the witness. He, he really is going for his neck. That's a good question, Uchi. 
Generally speaking, I think that you wouldn't want to have a witness assaulting another witness on the stand. But simultaneously, I don't think I can think of any sort of system where you actually have two witnesses, or three for this matter, um, on the stand simultaneously. Typically, I don't think so. I don't particularly like the hand gestures that he's making. I like how the entire gallery is against a uh, strong part. Testify, testify. Barnum, 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 Barnum. Seriously, this is Barnum, Barnum, except it's in our favor. For once. Hi, sweetie. Not a kimono if a guy wears it or something else, right? I don't remember what the guy equivalent of a kimono is. Hakama? Wafinger? Is that a slur of some sort? Hakama is the pants part? Take on my cravat. Oh yeah, cravat. Is Vigil, Vigil, is Vigil actually wearing a cravat? Are we gonna have this argument in, in at the end of this game? Like, Strongheart's wearing a cravat. That's a cravat. Strongheart's wearing a cravat. He's wearing a fuck off Gucci. <laughs> it's clearly a ladder. Yeah, exactly. Kazuma's wearing a cravat. But would that be a cravat, the way that it's tied on? Maybe? Doesn't have a second layer to support it, so it must be a simple ladder. Okay, fine. I'll accept that.
But he, that doesn't make any sense because he was not allowed any writing stuff. Yeah, he wasn't allowed to have writing utensils. And yet he did. Or something. I love how his tie is being pulled like that. Like, it's just cool that they're making it look like he's getting pulled again, but he's not. He's very good at acting. I guess being a street actor for years taught him a thing or two. He's a professional. He's a professional amateur. He's untrained, but he is a professional.
Hmm. I think I know what where this is going, and this is gonna be fun. Hold it! Hold it! It's not called a kimono, for Christ's sake. It was clearly a stepladder. had his sword on him. Karuma, <clears throat> Japanese for car. He always had his car on him. Hanshi rice paper. Is that right? Excuse me. Was there a Chrono Trigger moment in this prison? You know, that's a good point. I like to think that there was. It was Scarlet, sir. What? Oh, hey. This is what I'm going back to, because... Scarlet Ink. It's like, Susato's wearing a cravat. I don't know if I pointed that out or not. She looks good in a cravat. get to present this now. Objection.
Documents written in scarlet ink is ra uh, that's a rather interesting choice of color. <clears throat> Excuse me. only weapon he has left, despite that he had a sword inside of his uh, jail cell. So... What does it say, though, on the will again? Yeah, like, why would... Objection! By the way, I actually do know the um, answer to one of the pieces of evidence that we have that actually answers all of this, so don't be surprised at how quick I go to this, only because I have seen this portion already. I've forgotten a lot of it, but I remember this distinct part already. And Zeke's is just, what the fuck?
HUD. Yeah, this is basic. We're in, we are in wild ass turnabout territory. Oh, just you wait. This 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 case goes places. I have to keep my mouth shut because I know a lot. I know the outcome, but I'm relying on like really shoddy memories. So, but I do know one particular piece of evidence that's going to be really funny. He just went. What are you getting at, man? He didn't even. He didn't use a slur. He is so confounded by all this that he's not willing to use a slur. That's that's how much we have fucked with Lord Van Zeeks. He knows the truth. Van Zeeks knows the truth. Van Zeeks knows the truth. He he is he's going to have his entire world broken. This is such a reveal. Such a reveal. Barnum, 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 Barnum. <laughs> yeah, we, uh... And now we're t we're tying into the Hound of the Baskervilles. This is just I still love this even though I knew this outcome.
Ah, uh, the greatest sport known to man, hunting man. <clears throat> How much do you want to bet that they were into fox hunting? Very popular pastime of the aristocracy is to do fox hunting. Sato knows how to, like, <clears throat> go for the jugular. Hey, that's a familiar home. I wonder who lives there. Must be a really nice person. Maybe a nice kid. Well, at least we now know that it's actually a glass window there.
You're happy to see me. Get out of there. Don't you love it when your cat gets into everything? So basically, Strongheart knew it the whole time. What a huge deception to his, uh, his report. You have to wonder what sort of stuff has been buried in the past that it, that has this sort of behavior. Like, what sort of house of cards exists because of something like this? Like, we don't... There's something out there, I'm certain, that has parallels. Yeah, and then the thing is about Jack at the Ripper is that um, well, that evidence will never be known, right? Because it's been, what, 150 years? It's obvious that this is, you know, inspired by Jack the Ripper. Who, I think Jack the Ripper only killed, like, five or six people, right? It wasn't that, it wasn't more than ten. Yeah, so that kind of explain. Uh, so this is definitely lifting from that story. <clears throat> they were of much lower social class. Hmm. Admittedly, uh, Jack the Ripper is something that I'm not very knowledgeable on, um, despite my interest in Victorian England. Wow, that's so underhanded. This is so un underhanded. Yeah, it's sort of like how um, there's a famous... Well, you should know who Robert Picton is, right? He was only convicted of six murders. 
but it's likely he murdered anywhere between 24 and 30 people, right? But who cares? They were all sex workers, right? Their lives were not important. It only took, like, some non-indigenous sex worker who had a middle-class family to actually make anything happen. Really funny how that works out, hey? Really funny. Just really, really funny how it took the BPD to care <laughs> when some middle-class white family made a complaint. Might be a little bit bitter over Objection. that story still. Oh yeah, no, my if I'm ever angry about something, it's it's usually rooted in something something reasonable. Like, I don't get angry over a lot of things. He's really tooting his horn. He's like, yeah, you know what? I did something really underhanded, but it was, it's all for the good reasons. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. This is okay, everybody. Hey, I'm gonna be right back. Um, give me about two minutes here. We're pretty much at the end here. Just give me a sec. <laughs> 